Congratulations on your purchase of an East Bay Composites mold making kit. The first thing you're going to need is a backer board. We recommend 1 8 inch cat hardboard available at Home Depot. It's low cost and its shiny surface makes it very easy to remove the mold. For this demonstration, we're going to be making a mold out of this standard switch plate. Next, we're going to prepare our model using the clay that came in your kit. First, we'll use the clay to fill in any holes or gaps in the model. Next, we'll apply the clay along the edges of the model so it's raised up off the backer board. Now that the model's turned over, we'll use a finger to smooth the surface of the clay along the edges. We want to make sure there are no undercuts because that would make the model very difficult to remove from the mold. Once the clay is smooth, with a soft cloth, remove the excess from your model. All done, ready for the next step. Now we're going to apply the mold release wax. In thin coats, cover everything, your model, the clay, and especially the backer board. This will help the gel coat that we'll be applying later come off nice and easy. If your model is especially porous, you might want to apply the wax in two or three coats, allowing it to set for a few minutes and wiping off the excess in between each coat. Now we're ready to apply the PVA mold release agent. Simply put a light coat on top of everything that you put wax on. This will further enhance your ability to remove your model from your mold once it's complete. During the next step, we'll be using the gel coat, gel coat hardener, and pipette found in your kit. Now in order to properly mix the gel coat, you must have a gram scale. They are available on our website and also on other internet stores. Now the first step is to weigh the empty cup that you're going to use to mix your gel coat. In this example, the cup weighs 7.8 grams. Now we put our gloves on and we put some gel coat into the cup. Now we weigh the cup with the gel coat in it to get a total weight. In this example, the weight is 111.6 grams. Now we have to do some math. The weight of the hardener that we have to put in the cup is equal to 1.8% of the weight of the gel coat that's in the cup. We know that the combined weight of the gel coat and the cup is 111.6 grams. We also know that the empty weight of the cup is 7.8 grams. So by subtracting 7.8 from 111.6, we get the weight of the gel coat in the cup, 103.8 grams. Now we just multiply 103.8 times 0 0.018 to get the amount of hardener we need in the cup, or 1.9 grams. Now we just add the 1.9 grams to the 111.6, which is the weight of the gel coat in the cup, and that tells us what our total weight of the cup should be after we put the required amount of hardener inside. Now using the included pipette, add enough hardener till you get to the desired weight. Now mix the hardener and the gel coat together using a brush. Don't mix too quickly because you will add bubbles to the gel coat. Now apply a nice thick layer of the gel coat to your model. Be sure to cover everything, the model, the clay, and the backer board. If the gel coat looks thin in some areas, don't be afraid to dab on some extra gel coat. Once you're done, let the gel coat harden over the next several hours. For the mold backer, we're going to use good old-fashioned Bondo. Remove the top and find the hardener. 
To mix the Bondo, find a piece of cardboard, or in this case, a plastic plate. Use the putty knife to scoop out the amount that you need. In this case, we're using about three quarters of a can. Read the directions on the can to determine the amount of hardener you need, but in this case, we're using about three inches. The exact amount of hardener you use with the Bondo is not critical. Mix the Bondo until you get that Bondo pink color. Now you're ready to apply it to your mold. Just scoop out the Bondo and put it all over your mold. When you're done, let it sit for a couple hours so it's nice and hard. Now you're ready to remove your mold from the backer board. Simply flex the board and the mold will come right off. Now just remove the excess clay and set it aside. Now you're ready to remove your model from your mold. Be very careful, but it should just pop right up. Now with the soft cloth, remove the rest of the clay from your mold. Now you're ready to trim your mold. We're using a power saw, but any hacksaw will work just fine. Now you're ready for the last step. Using the included polishing compound, polish the inside of your mold to make it as smooth as possible. And that's it. Congratulations on your new molds.